you are the, the person uh, behind uh, Bitcoin Cash today. So I think I'm the person behind Bitcoin Cash in the exact same way I was the person behind Bitcoin since 2011. So and, and, and what, what, what is that? What way is that? Well, in the early days, like everybody viewed me as the spokesperson for Bitcoin. And I was going on national media and international media. You were called Bitcoin, Bitcoin Jesus. Yeah, I was called Bitcoin Jesus. And today, you know, people say, oh, Bitcoin Cash is just Roger. Well, in the early days, they were saying Bitcoin is just Roger. And I was busy building all the infrastructure to make it usable as cash for the world. And I'm, I'm busy doing that for Bitcoin Cash today because it, it still works. So. Um, so a lot of people are happy for Bitcoin to be just a store of value. And they don't mind that you cannot pay with Bitcoin anywhere, including the Malta AI Bitcoin AI blockchain summit, uh, which is kind of a, a, a bit a little bit sad, right? Uh, you disagree. Evidently, you believe that uh, uh, in order to uh, in order for for Bitcoin to be more broadly uh, um, accepted and available and adopted, it has to serve the function of cash as well. Yeah, and. Uh I didn't realize that this conference wasn't accepting cryptocurrency for payments. Usually we have a policy that I don't go to the conference if they don't accept cryptocurrency for payments. Uh, I, I, I actually didn't check that they didn't do that uh, for paying for the conference. What I mean is here in the hotel, oh. if you want to buy coffee or stuff like that, you can't do that. Not yet. Maybe by next year. But you can book the hotel itself on travelaw.com or cheapair.com and pay in Bitcoin Cash. So that that part was no problem. So so why why is cash important? Why is Bitcoin Cash important? So Bitcoin Cash is peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash for the world. It has fast, cheap, reliable transactions. And I think all these people that think Bitcoin can only be a store of value or needs to only be a store of value, they haven't studied economics. So in the US, everybody is using the dollar as their store of value because the dollar you can spend everywhere. And if you weren't able to spend the dollar everywhere, they wouldn't use it as a store of value. And here in Europe, everyone's using the euro as a store of value because you can spend the euro everywhere. And if tomorrow the euro wasn't spendable everywhere, people would no longer use it as a store of value. And I think the same is likely to happen of uh, the BTC version of Bitcoin. If they destroy its usefulness in commerce, they'll destroy its usefulness as a store of value. Does that mean that as uh, the network value of BTC increases, there may be a crisis where people want to get it out and they can't because they cannot spend it anywhere? Uh, it's possible that there could be a big giant rush for the exit uh, and the network will be so congested that it'll be hard for people to get their transactions into the block to do that. And if another chain like Bitcoin Cash is more profitable for the miners to mine, more and more miners may switch over to that chain and you could have this cascading effect. The one saving grace that BTC actually has for that is that as the fees become higher, the next block becomes more and more profitable for miners to mine. And if it wasn't for that, actually, Bitcoin Cash would have sucked a lot of additional hash rate away from BTC back uh, at the end of 2017 when the fees got really, really high and the network was really congested on the, on the BTC version of Bitcoin. And, and uh, what do miners uh, say about Bitcoin Cash today? So most miners, including myself, if they're a fan of Bitcoin Cash, they mine the BTC version of Bitcoin because that makes Bitcoin BTC more difficult for other people to mine and therefore Bitcoin Cash is more profitable to mine and then they take the BTC that they mine and this is exactly what I'm doing with my own hash rate. I take the BTC that I mine and then I sell that to buy more Bitcoin Cash which then again makes BTC less profitable to mine and Bitcoin Cash more profitable to mine. So I think that's what the miners that really like Bitcoin Cash are, are busy doing. A bit perverse, but I understand uh, how it works. Yeah. Uh, or rather than perverse, counterintuitively. Counterintuitive. And, and that's the thing. Like Economics is something that everybody thinks that they understand, and most people really don't. And so it's really important to study these and, and think about it and, and pay attention. So, uh, so um, as you develop the infrastructure for Bitcoin Cash to be accepted, in as many places as possible as a, a medium of exchange. Um, what are you more excited about uh, these days? So what are you most excited about these days? So other than Bitcoin Cash being usable as cash, uh, I'm really excited about the tokens that are being developed on top of Bitcoin Cash as well. We're about to roll out token support in our 4.1 million Bitcoin.com wallets. Uh, and anybody will be able to send and receive tokens on Bitcoin Cash quickly, cheaply, and reliably. And that's a really big deal and, and, and very, very useful to people as well. And we're also about to integrate the Cash Shuffle right into the Bitcoin.com wallet. So Bitcoin Cash will have much more fungibility than uh, things like you know the Bitcoin Core or a lot of these other coins. Because fungibility is one of the characteristics that makes money money. And if, if the money's not fungible, it's not money. 
Um, so uh, with regards to the first, uh, uh, you expect uh, projects uh, to tokenize on top of the uh, Bitcoin Cash uh, blockchain as a consequence? Yeah, we actually have quite a few, including some that are attending this conference here. So the biggest one is a subcompany of ANA Airlines Group, which is the largest airline in all of Japan. Uh, they're they're a joint venture with a company called Alliance Cargo Direct. Uh, have launched their token on Bitcoin Cash. It's called the ACD token, and it's already available on a couple of exchanges, and it'll be available on more and more and more. And I guess the other big news is we'll be launching our exchange on Bitcoin.com soon, uh, where Bitcoin Cash will be the base trading pair, and we'll have all sorts of awesome Bitcoin Cash-based tokens available as well. And then some other person that's not us already built a tool where if you want to pay dividends to, to Bitcoin Cash token holders, you send the Bitcoin Cash to one address and then it sends it out in proportion to every single address that's holding whatever particular Bitcoin Cash token. So you can pay dividends to token holders on Bitcoin Cash automatically right there on the blockchain. And so it makes the tokens kind of the equivalent of a bearer share and the dividends can be paid right out to that owner with, you know, who knows who or where they are in the world. And I think that's a pretty big deal as well. Uh, so uh, at the very beginning, um, uh, with with Bitcoin, uh, it was quite popular to meet with a person in 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 the physical world and and uh, uh, give them some cash, and they would show you a QR code, and magically you would have some Bitcoin, uh, and uh, that was for a lot of people uh, at at the beginning the only way they could get uh, Bitcoin, uh, as a matter of fact. And then things uh, evolved uh, quite uh, uh, a lot since then, but uh, still uh, merchants th that accept Bitcoin or ways the own ramps are, 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 are not easy. Uh, what, are you, what are you doing about that? So in addition to our exchange platform, we're also about to launch on uh, June 4th, local.bitcoin.com which is a peer-to-peer -peer trading platform, exactly like you said. You can go meet someone at the Starbucks and they can give you cash and, and you can give them Bitcoin cash or the other way around. But what's so neat about this platform is that it's completely non-custodial. Bitcoin.com never touches the Bitcoin cash in any way whatsoever, yet it's still hold in what's effectively an escrow. And not only is it effectively an escrow, the, the potential escrow agent is blind to the fact that there's even money in the escrow until you actually contact them and ask for their help adjudicating any sort of a dispute. So using smart contracts on Bitcoin Cash, this is possible. It's impossible to do the same thing on the BTC version of Bitcoin. So this is a really, really big deal because it enables anybody in any country to buy or sell Bitcoin Cash with no KYC required for Bitcoin.com in any way because we never touch the money in any way. We never and, have control of the funds. And, and, and you as the evangelist and, and major promoter of, of, of all of this, uh, uh, wouldn't you need um, any kind of license or approval for... Um, setting up uh, this kind of uh, ability uh, which you know traditionally in the US especially with uh, um, uh, the cash exchanges people were uh, accused of not uh, operating with a money transmitter license so we are never touching the money in any way all we've done is written open source software that people run in their browser and it makes everything happen and so we are not a party to the transaction in any way so I think it would be a really really big stretch for any sort of you know law enforcement people to try and blame us uh, or say that we're a part of the transaction because we're not. We don't have keys to the money. We don't. We're not a signer to the transaction. We don't touch the money in any way whatsoever. So just like uh, you know, downloading a Bitcoin client or something like that. So okay. Uh, so very many exciting new features uh, uh, coming really soon. Uh, how are you going to measure the the success of these initiatives and uh, what are your uh, KPIs, let's say three months or a year from now that you want to hit? I think, you know, one of the best KPIs or the ones that people care about the most is, is the price or the market cap. But that's just a side effect of the amount of adoption you have in commerce. So in, in the long term, the more adoption we can have in commerce, where people are using Bitcoin Cash in commerce as money, uh, the higher the market cap will be in the long term. So, Thank you very much. This was uh, very good and uh, exciting for uh, the new announcements. Uh, I'm curious to see how they perform in the real world. Thank you so much, David.